Okay, we are live. I got the Papa Cam still up that won't be throughout the whole video because um, after we put this together, we are going to do a taste test. We have three different kinds of cookies I've never tasted. I might have tasted one, which is strawberry shortcake. Should we tell them what they are Some now? Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to do this gemstone thing. Today is the Makerversary. Happy anniversary, Makery! This is my fifth and final video for the day. And please excuse me that I am exhausted. So hopefully this video goes well. I was worried it's going to be a disaster because I'm so exhausted. But I have this scheduled and we're going to have fun today. So let's recap the day a little bit. We had breakfast. We had cinnamon rolls sandwiches made with the Easy Press in my first video. In my second video, we used, we ironed on fabric to chipboard. That was video number two, so if you've missed that, there's a playlist of all the videos. I don't think I've added the last one in the playlist and I'll have to add this one to the playlist. But we made this in the second video. You can see all these on my channel. And third video, we had lunch in the craft room. We made chicken quesadillas with our Cric with our Cricut Easy Press too. And I, oh, we did a Facebook Live video today, and I uploaded that to YouTube, so you can find that on YouTube too. We made this card with acetate. Uh, and the scoring wheel. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I love this card. Yay, acetate. <laughs> and now we're going to make this box. And some of you I know have acetate from one of the Cricut Mystery Boxes, which are returning soon. So let's get busy on the Cricut. Um, yes, yeah, so you have a ton of foil acetate. Let's use it up. If you hear snoring, that is from Cal Carly. I'm so tired, I forgot her name. Carly! <laughs> I was gonna call her Callie, my assistant. Hey Sheila. Um uh, what am I doing? We're gonna go to just to my overhead camera. And we have some acetate. Before, if you've never used the Cricut foil acetate. There is a clear coating on it. So make sure you take that off. And it makes it, you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. I mean, this is my gumball machine we made last week. Um, can you see a difference? I don't know that you can see. I can see a big difference. In person, you can see a difference. This is cloudy, this is not cloudy. So take that off. Throw this away, in case you didn't know. Oh, I missed the garbage. Okay, I'm gonna use my blue mat. This is a brand new blue mat. So it's pretty sticky mat. If you watched my last video with the acetate, I put it on a brand new green mat, and it was a little too sticky. Okay. Remember, I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I am so exhausted, I feel kind of drunk happy. Do you guys know what I mean? Oh, that's not going to be right. See, it sticks really well to the blue mat. I did not need that green mat last time this in the right place oh we don't even have our project ready that's how tired I am so please excuse me <laughs> I'm gonna get the giggles guys let me go to design space uh, we're gonna go to new project we're going to replace our project from our last video. And the chat, is the chat not working? 
my chat over here is not working. It's working over, oh, I need to refresh this or something. Ooh. Um, how is everything working? Thank you so much for the super chat. I have some YouTube things that are not working. Okay, hold on guys. My chat is completely frozen. YouTube has had some problems today during one of my videos. It decided to crash in the middle of it. Okay, Jamie says chat is working for you guys. So, um, hold on a second. I can't read your chat. So I have to, oops, let's mute that. Um, my YouTube is not working very well. <laughs> okay, where is everybody from today? I cannot open my YouTube. Oh, you know what? Can I watch the chat on my iPad? I am so sorry about this, guys. I'm going to have to go to the YouTube. Thank you, Gail Banks, for that super chat. So now I can read your chat from the YouTube video on my iPad. Okay, Beard Adventures, I'll let you know when you're needed. Um, okay, let me go. My YouTube things are just spinning in circles, so I hope everybody can see this okay. All right, I totally forgot what we were doing. Oh, um... We're going to go to images. We're going to go to cartridges. We are going to search scoring. Okay, this is scoring wheel boxes. These are boxes they made that will use acetate with little tabs so you do not need glue. Uh, so there's six boxes. These are in access, as you can see here by the green A. It's in access. These are also scoring wheel rosettes. These are kind of awesome. I haven't made one yet, but uh, maybe we'll do that in another video. Um, oh, and we didn't talk. We, I was going to talk about our taste test. I didn't tell you everything that's in it. All right. Okay, let's try to stay on track, Melody. Now I'm talking to myself in my live video. So this one that I made was this one. So let's try to make this one. If you want to see this one, I know Ken's Creations has done this box, this purple one. We're going to do this one today. We're going to insert that. And I think we're going to do it just as it is. I think that's how the first one was cut. One of my assistants cut the first one for me yesterday. Uh, you could use the scoring wheel boxes with the Cricut Air, but you cannot score acetate with the scoring stylus. Uh, not because we won't let you, it's because it doesn't work. I tried it. And I will show you uh, some pieces that I scored 
some acetate I scored, but you could do it with paper. Awesome, Michael. Uh, so I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to click, not vinyl, that's adhesive foil. Acetate. You know what? I'm going to click foil acetate. Uh, I'm just going to type in foil because I don't want to spell acetate because I'm tired. Um, foil acetate right here. Let's make that one of the favorites. We're going to click on that and we're going to click the done button and we're going to come up to foil acetate. It does tell you to use the single scoring wheel and clamp. So we're going to use the single scoring wheel. And that's it. So now the maker is bleaking. Okay, let's. I move in a chair. Okay, how did that move? Earlier we could see that. I bet this got moved. And I can't get that even. Oh, you know what? We have to put the scoring wheel in. We have the fine tip blade in right now. So let's open this up. Put that there. This is the scoring blade has the gold one this cannot be used in any other machine besides the Cricut maker the other machines are not powerful enough for these that is why not because they don't want you to use it it's because it's, the other machines don't have the power the Cricut maker does let's load our mat one other thing the Cricut maker has that the other machines don't have is right here, there's hardly any gap at all to move this back and forth. And in the other machines, there's more of a gap. So if you wanted to try to cut in the same place and you already unloaded their mat, it's like so almost impossible to do with the Explorer. But the Maker, it's much easier. It's still not, you might not get 100% or happen 100% every time, but it does work. You have to hit the go button. Now there's going to be a lot of scoring done. Right now it's detecting the blade. That is an awesome feature to know if you're using the wrong blade. Because I've done that a few times. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Renee. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Misty. Hi, Heather. Hi, Bonnie and Day. You guys, the Cricut Maker Bundle, the pink one or the champagne, they call it rose and they call it champagne. It's only on sale for another two hours and 45 minutes. It will not be at that price longer than that it's a special for today carly can you stop that while i'm doing a video she's scratching her bed okay so now it tells you to install the fine point blade you don't, there's no thinking the cricket tells you what to do okay let's take this out put this back in my thing and I can install this blade okay let her keep going and oh now she quits I was gonna puppy cam she just scratches in her bed she tries it on the couch and I say no I let her do it in her bed okay back to here I gotta hit the button 
Can you guys tell I'm a little loopy right now because I'm so tired? Oh, it's checking the blade. And now it's going to cut it. Oh, and I forgot to do more pressure again. Let's just hope that the pressure is good. Okay, let me read your comments. You could uh, use this image with paper without the, with the old scoring wheel. Joan! Joan is here, Joan. To be honest, I thought you'd be in bed by now. Thanks, Jamie, for sharing the link to my Facebook page. Yeah, the bundle is for the champagne or rose Cricut Maker. You get the scoring wheel and the knife blade that doesn't normally come with the Cricut Maker, all for $3.99. If you have access, it's only $3.59. And it's a $489 value, and you get free shipping. And if you use my, and you have to use my code to get that price, my code is Maker Birthday ML and you get entered in to win a one year premium access subscription. Joan says, have speed racer fix you breakfast in bed with the easy press. He's over here laughing. Is this big enough for a cupcake? I don't think so. You could probably put a cupcake in it if you made it bigger. You, I don't know how to make it bigger. Well, it would go bigger. This is kind of small. Yeah, I could totally stretch it out bigger. I don't know if it would be big enough for a cupcake. Okay, let's see how this cut. Yeah, see, it never cuts deep enough unless I hit more pressure. Sheila Rogers is calling. Oh no, it's not responding, Sheila. I'm gonna restart the app. Oh wait. Sheila, call back. I can answer it on my, um, on my, um, iPad. If it doesn't work on my computer, my computer had, has had a workout today. Okay. So this has it with this. Sometimes you can push this out and cut it. And I can't seem to do that. There we go. And I don't know how sharp my blade is. Yeah. Oops. You go away. Okay. It's not working on my computer, but I'll answer you on. <coughs> Sheila, you are live on the air. Oh, I tell you, you have worn me out today. <laughs> all day video, Mike, I know you are exhausted. I am. I know, and you still got another one to go? No, no, no. This is my last one. Oh, my goodness. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for everything. You and tell welcome. your son, Alex, yes. I said hello with his oh, long... Yeah vacation that he has at your house. That's right. <laughs> he needs to go back to work. He needs to go back to work. <laughs> he, he loves munching. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just want to say hello. Love you, Alex and Melanie. Talk to you guys later. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Something else I want you guys to learn today, if you don't know already, is to listen to your gut. My gut today, I had both my iPads in my bedroom, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to need that today. I didn't need it all day until just now when the chat stopped working on me, the phone thing stopped working on me because it's a phone thing that goes through my um, computer. It's not like actually to my cell phone, but I have the app on my iPad too, so I could answer that through my iPad. And now I gotta go back to my chat to YouTube. There we are, okay. So I'm not reading the chat right now because I'm punching through. If you watch the last video, I cut this twice. And that works to cut it twice. And actually, I think I'm going to change the setting that I have in the computer for the acetate. So I can change it to do a deeper cut next time it cuts acetate. Do you guys want to see that? How I do that? And it could just be because my, I don't know when's the last time I changed my blade. We got it! Okay, you want to see, okay, I'm going to, before I forget, because my mind isn't working right now, uh, I'm going to show you how to change the settings. Okay, we need to finish this. That was, it's only one mat. So let's go here. We are going to manage custom materials. And this is materials for my maker. If you have a different machine, you may not have rice paper. You won't have rice paper if you have a different machine. So I'm gonna scroll down till I see acetate. Oh, my iPad's going. Um, thank you, Joanne, for the super chat. Um, They don't have a search on here, do they? No. They're in order, not in alphabetical order, but they're in order of pressure. Stencil film, plastic canvas, uh, felt. Does anybody know where it's at? I think it's more than that. Plastic packaging. Wouldn't it be around there? Foil acetate. Woohoo, we found it. It says two times. I don't remember cutting two times. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to add more pressure. I'm gonna leave it cut at two times and I'm gonna move it up. And I'm gonna save that. So next time I go to foil acetate, it's gonna add more pressure to it. I couldn't find the search. There's no search up here. There is the search when you're choosing your materials um, to cut it, but I don't see it here. But I found it. Thanks, Jamie. Oh, foil acetate should be at $2.99. Mine was not at $2.99. It was lower than that. Maybe that's why. Maybe I messed with that in a video previously. All right, we're done with that. Let's go back over here. Okay, let's try to put it together. Thanks, Jamie. Jamie is always messaging me um, in videos and stuff. And so this 
uh, and helping me. She helps so much. I'm going to move my iPad so I can read the chat up here. That might come in easier. You guys, everything happens for a reason. And I usually have the chat over this way at my computer, but I can see it better on my iPad right here. So these like fold so easily with the scoring wheel. Oh, and I was gonna show you guys. I know I'm all over. Okay, this, this little box I made. I, I was gonna do a video, I don't think I ever did it, of showing you the difference of the scoring wheel on the Maker and the Explorer. So I cut, this is a lid and this is the thing. You can see the score lines, right? Like you see triangles, right? Those triangles, those make a box like this, but this is, I use corrugated paper with this. So it makes like a box like that, right? So I made the same thing on my Explore machine. You don't see, I mean, those, those diamonds are from the foil. There are no score lines. You cannot do it on the Explorer. Okay, where was I? All right, I'm folding all these down. This is really easy after I figured it out. Hopefully I remember. They fold so easy. And here are little cut lines. Hopefully I can poke those through. I usually can. Last time, yeah, and I'm, I'm getting them. They're little slits that these little there's little arrows here. You see those arrows? Those little arrows are going in here, and then there's this might be a smaller box. Ooh, Michael Crow is on the line. Hello, Michael, you are live. I am, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> How are you? My goodness, honey, you've been doing lots of videos today. Yes, this is my fifth video. And, and all that great stuff you've made on the Easy Press, I'm telling you, they should give you a medal for most cooked food on that Easy Press. I know. I'm getting more and more ideas the more I use the Easy Press. And I made the quesadillas, and then I made more after the video even. I had to make enough lunch for myself and my son and my two assistants. And um, I left the Easy Press on a little bit longer on some of them. <laughs> Not on purpose, maybe because, as Sheila says, that little timer ding doesn't ding real loud. But I uh, was busy doing other things. I'm like, oh, I think it was maybe only five or ten seconds longer. But it was better. It was crispier tortilla. So in my video, I did it for 50 seconds. So I'm thinking maybe 55 seconds on each side would be better. That sounds good. Well, I mean, congrats on your cooking. Sheila and I are so proud. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe Alex is still there. Is I, he bored? Some days he gets bored. I'm like, I'm, I go, I go for a lot of golf cart rides. He's been going for golf cart rides and taking pictures of the sunsets. Did he meet a girl in the villages, and that's why he's still there? No. no. He, he says no. Uh, but he has gotten me out of the house a little bit more for dinner or something once in a while. Or well, I just good. send him to go get dinner. <laughs> well, that's good. I just finished making a giant box, your giant um, blade holder for Sheila and put it on Patreon. And I probably cried and sweared a few times to do it. So. <laughs> I just love Sheila, can't you tell? Oh, Sheila is, puts the she in shenanigans. She is. She is. Well, anyhow, I just wanted to drop in and say hi. I mean, if Sheila did it, it's customary for me to as well. That's right. We can't have a video without Sheila and Michael. That's right. 
So cheers to you. I'm having a glass of wine. Don't act surprised. <laughs> Just don't break it. <laughs> I won't. I promise. <laughs> All right, you All keep right. making your ass tape, bye. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, back to YouTube so I can read the comments. Okay, I'm going to poke my poker in. <laughs> my son is laughing at me. Look at that one's cut out. My pressure on the foil acetate was not correct. Thank you, Jamie, for letting me know the proper pressure that it's supposed to be. I always wondered why it, it wasn't cutting out right. Okay. So this also comes with a little shape like this. And I don't know why, let's be honest. I don't know where it's at either. And I think if you're using paper, you would wanna add it to the bottom maybe. So this piece I have found out is the bottom. These little tabs up here are the top. I wasn't looking at the picture when I made it the first time and I had it upside down and I kept, I put M&Ms in it and I kept losing M&Ms because I had it upside down. But I realized on my own it was upside down. So let's put these tabs in here. I'm gonna fold these just a little. Okay. These are kind of hard to put in here. Or they're at least hard when you are doing so many live videos and one live video kind of makes me exhausted. And I did five? I don't know what I was thinking. But the second half of this video, we're gonna do a taste test. And then we're gonna have dinner, and it's 9.30. <laughs> okay, this one's not poked through. No wonder. This may have to be a deleted video after this. These, these are, okay. All right, let's start again. I am going to try to poke these in here. <laughs> Don't do it. You know how you miss a button on a shirt and your button, your shirt is all crooked, like if you have a button-up shirt? I almost just did that with this. Okay. We all know I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm drunk tired. So... Let's tell you how to do this. These little tabs here go inside here. These little tabs here go inside the slits here. Now, when I did the other box, I was putting them in through the top so they were on the inside. And I'm really not sure, it kind of worked both ways, but if you put them this way, they're up on the top. But then it has a shape that I lost. I don't know where that is. A shape that's just this shape that you could probably glue on top of that if you were not using acetate. If you were using paper, I would do that, not the acetate. So with acetate, I would fit this in this, in this slit here so it goes underneath. Hold on. I'm going to get it. There, see, I got it. And then once you push it on there, then it stays on there really good, okay? So this is the bottom. So you're gonna put all these slits in like that. And then you're gonna put the slits in here. And then, woohoo magic, we're done! So the top, 
we has all these shapes and I kind of just been playing with them and I have to like push them down and then they kind of all just fit inside each other. So I just kind of have to play with them. So there, look, we're done. Is that good? Cause you don't all want to see me fluster with this, right? And so I threw in some cookies and I was just going to do candy, but like the shape of this, like if you made homemade chocolate cook, cup cookies, if you <laughs> made chocolate chip cookies, I like make them fit to inside here. They'd be perfect. Or you can make this a little bigger, make big cookies. Okay, guys. Yeah, Jamie, I see your chat. Melody works every day. I work every single day. Um, I work Sunday through Saturday. I do try to take a few hours off on the weekends, but other than that, I'm at my computer every day, all day long. All right. Are we ready for this taste test? I think so. I'm ready. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's puppy cam. Look, there's one there and he's right next to his bed. He's off of it. Okay, wait. Where's he at? What? There's his bed. He's laying right next to his bed. He may be mad at his sister. I don't know. The, the floor is cooler than the bed. Well, it's not hot in here. It's 70 no, degrees. Right. Okay. Can I um, the puppy bed? Yes, pull the puppy bed out. We're going to turn off this camera and we are back. Thank you, Linda Lovejoy. How long has that been there? Is that stuck? It's stuck. I turned it off. Okay. We have, he's grabbing a chair. Pina Colada Oreos and oh Kettle Corn Oreos. Okay, I love Kettle Corn. Yum. You have to scooch. <laughs> A lot more. <laughs> okay, I lost my chat. Strawberry Shortcake. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, the good home. <laughs> the good humor. I love these. Love. I love these things. No, over here. These things here. Those are so yummy. That's what caught my eye. Yeah. Okay, and then you show what else you're going to make me taste that I don't want to taste. We got these when we were in Utah. We were going to make Ken Hess taste these. It never happened. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Let's get a little. Can, can you see? It? Yes, the bundle sale Hello. ends at midnight Eastern. You have a little over two hours. Use my maker birthday ML code to get the discount, and you get in to win a premium access subscription. What are those? They're Snickers with like little chili peppers in them. Or like not in them, but like chili pepper. On them. I don't like hotness. <laughs> well, you can try that last. Okay, we're gonna try the strawberry shortcake. I don't think I've had these. I don't know. I haven't had any of these. Oh my gosh. Can I have one? Not that one that you had up against your nose. Mm, <laughs> yummy. Like, I think I, oh, this makes me happy. Oh, that smells fantastic. This, oh, just the smell alone. I'm so sorry we don't have smell a vision Oh, and there's chat down here. I don't know if you can read it. You can I, read late chat there. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can uh, read that. All right, are we okay. going to try it? <laughs> I'm going to open it and just, uh, yeah. yours did not open very well. Like, oh, it kind of looks like Play-Doh on the inside. Like I was playing with it. 
I kind of feel drunk. You know, I haven't had, I've only been drinking Kool-Aid. Yep, Kool-Aid. And, mmm. It's yummy. You want a bite? <laughs> Oh, does it have? I ate the inside. I ate. Really good. Angelina. To answer your question, I think the only difference in the Patreon $5 and the YouTube $5 is the Patreon $5, you get to be in the Hangout video on video once a month. Um, if As a member, you get to watch the video, but not be in the video. I think that's the only difference in the Patreon. Mama, don't play dough. <laughs> Yes, these cookies are a reward for a long day. Okay, yeah, such a long we... day for me. Oh, shut up. What? Um, let's rate them. Should we rate them? Sure. One to ten. What do you give them that... for Oreo cookies? Let's well, rate them against regular Oreos. All right. What do you mean against? I don't know. What would you rate a normal Oreo? I don't know. Like a... Six and a half. Okay, let's just let's just make this regular Oreo is just a five. Okay. So is this better? Much or... better. Much better. But Oreos also got that, you know. I love Ore an Oreo. Oreos are delicious. These are why. different though. But these are yummy because they're new. If you, and if you like strawberry, yummy. you like them. Like the okay. strawberry. Okay. Which one should we do next? Like Kettle corn or pina colada? I think the kettle corns are going to be good, and I'm kind of up in the air about the pina colada. So I almost want to try the pina colada before the kettle corn. Okay. We'll try pina colada. And the pina colada ones are thin. You are ones. welcome, Latoya. We should like the two. Get those are full pages for these. Stampin' Scrappin' with Donna Lee says Oreo's a 10 in her book. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, They're now these, good, are, but... these are thin. These are pina colada. They're thin. Here, let's get the other cookie to show the difference. See? Okay. What's it taste like? I hate the outside. <laughs> What's it smell like? Pina colada. It oh. smells... Okay, here's what it smells like to me. When I was a child, we have scratch and sniff stickers. I totally remember this. This brings back the memories of my childhood of scratch and sniff stickers. These are really good too. Oh. Mmm. And you just bought these at Publix grocery store. Yeah. I'd give regular Oreos probably, I guess I w it was pretty low. Regular Oreo, no, seven, seven and a half. Mmm. Even the cookie part on the thins are really good. I love the thin part. Is that mine? Yeah. I'll eat those later. Really good. I, I'm gonna make you eat the snicker thing first, oh. and I'm gonna look at your face before I try it. Oh my gosh! Ooh, these smell funny. Can't have one. I don't want that one. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, this is Alex, my son. He is Beard Adventures on YouTube. You should subscribe to his channel. Yeah. Ooh, dip them in milk would be good. Yeah, but you, all you have is almond milk. It's good for you. Yeah, but it's not the same. Hmm. What is this? Kettle corn. I'm so tired I forgot what I'm doing. 
Did you eat it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think? It's different. <laughs> it's like there's popcorn in it. What's it taste like? Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> like kettle corn. Yeah. It really does. It's just weird and cookie form. My face might say gross, but no, it's it's, it's oh, good. Oh, Jessica says they taste like that frog cereal. What's that called? I what, know what you mean. What frog cereal? S Sugar Smacks. Oh. Yeah, that's what they smell like too. Sugar Smacks. Yeah, these are delicious. Oh, there's things inside it. I could totally do. It's like popcorn pieces. Read it. Give me a box. It has real popcorn in it. With puffed millet pieces. <laughs> I'm spitting. Oh, wow. Look. It's Sugar Smacks. They should have named it Sugar Smack Cookie. Can I have another strawberry one? No. Okay. You have to eat those Snickers first. Nope. If you eat the snigger before me, I will give you a strawberry cookie. Oh. <laughs> or I could just wait until the video is done. Easier. Yeah. All right. Let's open. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. Okay. They also taste like those toasted... I don't know how to explain it or what they're called anymore. They were, they had come in strawberry chocolate and like this color, like little wafers, wafer, like those wafer uh, yeah. cookies things with cream in the center. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to buy the kettle corn again. I love kettle corn popcorn. I love it. I'm not going to waste calories on this cookie. It's not worth the calories. I'm not going to finish it. I'd eat the strawberry one. It's 150 calories per two cookies. Oh, it's not even worth it. <laughs> what's, the, what's the thin let's, one? Yeah, let's check this out. Flip it. It's on the front. I see it here. Serving size is four cookies. So it's 150 for four cookies. No, they're the same size. <laughs> it's like, you put four. No, they're thinner cookies. I know, but four of those. <laughs> Uh, two cookies, 150 calories on these. I almost bought the red velvet ones, but I've had those and those are mm. fantastic. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try this. Okay. This, what is it? Tell them again. It's fiery Snickers. It has, I'm uh, <laughs> fiery Snickers that has chili powder or something in it somewhere. Chili powder. I don't like chili powder and chili. I'm waiting. It just tastes like a regular Snickers. <laughs> Do they all have the chili powder? It says fiery right on it. Okay, you need to take a bite of it so we can see the inside. Oh, there's a little bit of heat afterwards. It's not bad, though. It says wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all say wimpy? Yeah. It says wimpy. I'm gonna eat another one. Okay, dogs can't have it. I know. Yeah, I don't like spicy. Do you even taste the spicy? I haven't oh, tasted. <laughs> I am still opening it. Good thing we didn't wait for me to put that box together. <laughs> Through the magic of video, I have it put together. I'm afraid. It stinks. That's really not that bad. What, what? No, you eat the whole thing. They're bite sized. Mm -mm. Spicy! <laughs> you lied! I'm not lying. <laughs> oh! It's not even. <laughs> I barely took the chocolate off and I can taste the spicy. <laughs>
I have a strawberry now? Okay, who used to dip their cookies in their Kool-Aid? What are I you did doing? when I was a good boy. Why are you doing that? It's good. I don't believe you. Can I have a cookie? No. <laughs> Why? You made me that. <laughs> so taste test video and other things. Thank you. It's really not that bad. Have you? Has I'll anyone in the video tasted these fiery Snickers? There's just a little bit of heat at the end. No! At the end, I just started it. I barely ate any of it. Like, I, I took a less than a chipboard piece. This thick of a chipboard. Maybe it's only in the chocolate. Maybe your taste buds are different than mine. No, really, though. You could just oh, be in the... Oh, maybe it's only in the chocolate? Yeah. <clears throat> it could be, because I could... It stinks. <laughs> no, not milk on popcorn. What? Oh, no, not milk on popcorn. I never said that, did I? No, no. no I don't think so. <laughs> maybe someone did up in the chat. Oh, my friends pour milk on their popcorn. Gross! That is gross! Bye, Denise! Yeah, see? All the heat is in the chocolate. You need the middle for balance. Yeah, all I ate so, was the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a lot of heat. And I only got a little bit. Thanks, Jamie. Ooh, spicy Skittles. That sounds good. Mm -mm. You know what Alex used to do? He used to get those gross, disgusting jelly beans when he was like 10 years old. <laughs> I still get those sometimes. And I don't says, eat them. I give them hey, Mom, pizza. have some candy. <laughs> or the sour candy. Hey, Mom, have a piece of candy. Um, Usually parents tell stop their kids from eating candy. I don't know. You just got candy places. <laughs> and he wanted to share with me, and I knew better. I didn't eat his candy. It was that disgusting jelly beans and sour candy I couldn't eat. The Harry Potter jelly bellies. It was even before Harry Potter. They had bad ones. They weren't called Harry Potter. Oh, then I don't know what you're talking about. All right, guys, should yes, we go? Bean boozle. <laughs> Your grandkids did that to you. <laughs> what kind did you get? She probably doesn't remember. It's grossness. All right, guys, are we done? I guess. What time is it? It's 9.53, you guys. Two more hours left to get that maker bundle. And did you guys Two know... Two hours and seven minutes. ...that there are now new tariffs on things from China? <laughs> things that are made from China. Somebody said one time with moving parts it would have extra tariffs. So that would cause things to be more expensive. That may be for everything that we buy that is made from China and other countries. So I'm not sure this bundle on the maker will ever happen again. I, I mean, I have no idea. They didn't tell me that. They didn't tell me anything. But with the new thing, I know prices are going to go up on things. So uh, a lot of companies have already started putting those uh raising the prices of things already. So two hours left for this maker deal. There's a, in the description of this video is a link to the champagne or maker or rose maker. And you get the knife blade, you get the scoring wheel. And if you purchase it, you smell on my finger. Oh, uh, with the cookie. Oh, this is Kobe. Um, use my code and it enters you into a premium access subscription for one year giveaway. My puppy's names are Kobe and Carly. Uh-oh, 
Sheila says there's a spinning wheel of death. I guess the video's over. Oh, but I still see the chat. Jeez. No, I still see the video. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome through this whole event. And we haven't eaten dinner yet. Oh, yeah. So we're going to preheat the oven. So we're going to stop eating cookies and candy and go eat a meal. And I'm going to go warn everyone about two hours left. And then I may have to sit and relax. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for everything you guys do. Uh, thanks for coming into my Facebook groups. Thanks for support of my channel through patreon and the membership and thank you for everything you guys are amazing i have the best subscribers on youtube th than anyone else i i'm gonna say it you guys are the absolutely best people on youtube i can scoot over all right i have to look down to see the chat because it's my chat's not working Thank you, Jamie. Okay, can you guys like feel how heavy my eyes are? I am so tired. My eyes are just, you know that feeling like, I think I could just skip dinner and go to sleep right now. Like when your face feels heavy, that's how I feel. You guys stand for the end, they're watching this funny face. This is how I feel, I'm so tired. So tired. All right, guys, I love you. And we'll see you in another video. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video for Thursday. I will be here Saturday. I usually do my craft videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, I did so many today. I think it might cover for Thursday. And maybe we'll do a golf cart ride on Thursday. Alex, will you still be here on Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Callie won't be here. She's She won't be here Thursday or Friday. So I may just take some time off, but maybe do a video for you guys on the golf cart. Maybe we'll go somewhere else different. I'll okay. head out this weekend. Okay. All right. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Now I got to remember how to turn it off. Oh, I hope I can. I'm going to click stop streaming. Oh.